What is good YouTube, it's Turco and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to boost FPS and lower input delay in Fortnite Chapter 5. Before the video starts, I would really appreciate it if you guys drop a like and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. So as you can see, I'm on my desktop here. So the first thing that we actually want to do is go ahead and open your browser. Now once you do open your browser, you want to search here, Chris titus utility as you can see i already searched it before so you're gonna press enter what this utility will do you want to open this page first what this utility will give us is this command and here that we're going to be using to launch a program that will optimize your whole desktop for the best settings possible so what you want to do first uh is just press here copy and as you can see we copied the link and now you want to just minimize that once you're here you would just want to press the windows button and type in windows those PowerShell as you can see this is the one and make sure to run it as administrator if you do not run it as administrator this is not gonna work so just press this and as you can see we have it in here now here what you want to do the only thing you want to actually do just press control and V and it should copy the link in here and press enter and just wait for the program to run it might take a while to run uh, but you just want to wait for it and once it runs you just want to wait for it to finish so once it finishes as you can see we now have this thing in here as you can see this is uh just it it will open alone you don't have to do anything so just wait for it to open and you have something like this as you can see there's many settings in here that you will be very confused so you do not want to touch anything in here what you want to actually go ahead and do and what is the best setting for us is the tweaks you want to go press on tweaks and that is what we're gonna uh, be changing so as you can see there's also uh, many settings in here but what is good about this is that they already have the recommended selections in here which we have for a desktop for a laptop if you want minimal changes or if you want to clear so if you want to just disable everything so what we're gonna do here is just press on desktop since I have a desktop if you do have a laptop then I recommend just putting laptop so you don't uh, run with any problem but just make sure to use either desktop or laptop if you do not want to change a lot of settings then just press on minimal but I do not recommend it since as you can see there's not many actually many things actually being disabled and what this will do if you go ahead and go uh, down here into the task manager and go into performance and then go ahead and go into CPU we're gonna see the processes here and as you can see there's 200 processes running on my PC which is a lot so what this will do is actually lower it down to about a hundred or maybe even less so yeah we just want to close this uh, the task manager up uh, as you can see here we're gonna press on the setting that is desktop the best one now there's some things that you should do in here before actually running the tweaks it's just creating a restore point if you would like to so if anything happens you can just go back to it so that uh, that will be way better so just create a restore point and you are done here you just want to press on run tweaks so as you can see once you do open the uh, powershell again as you can see we have all these services in here that are being set so as you can see it's disabling things it's putting things in manual and you will see down here tweaks are finished so you are done in here you can just close this out and what you want to do actually to apply these settings you want to go ahead and restart your pc so you're not going to see any processes being uh, less here so even if you go to the task manager before restarting your pc you will not see anything changing so you want to make sure to restart your pc and then you're going to come back, come back to you so the next setting that we're going to actually change is something called the islc as you can see it's called the intelligent standby list cleaner and this is what you want to download i'll leave a link in the description for you guys to be able to download it this this is really really important uh, to reduce the input delay in your game so as you can see we have total system memory 16,000 standby list and system working set is 10,000 and the free memory is only 500 what you want to do for this memory see the memory is really really low the free memory and the memory being used is a whole lot what you want to do here is actually just go ahead and go into purge standby list and just press on it and wait for it to finish and as you can see here standby list and system working set went down from 10,000 to 50 so it really really just cleared all the memory and as you can see we have a lot of more but we have a lot more free memory in here. now what you want to change in here is also the list size is at least and you want to make sure to have this at 1024 megabytes and 
free memory is lower than now here it depends on how many gigabytes of RAM so we're gonna go and go into the task manager in here go into performance go into memory and as you can see you'll see how many gigabytes of RAM you have now for me I have 16 so here we put half of that so instead of 16 you put 8,000 so if you have 32 gigabytes put 16,000 if you have 8 gigabytes you put 4 and etc just like that once you finish that you want to go into the last setting which is the wanted timer resolution and this you want to make sure that it is on 0.5 millisecond before actually changing anything else in here one of the most important settings in here is the ISLC polling rate this will definitely change how your game feels and the delay that you feel now this depends on how your PC works so if you have a really really good PC then you want to lower it down to 500 250 if you have a medium PC you just want to put it on 1000 which is the one i recommend and the one i have now if you have a lower uh npc then you want to make sure it's on 2000 or 4000 i do not recommend going down to 10,000, which is a lot uh but yeah if your pc isn't that good then you do not want to use 1000 or lower yeah i'm just going to put 1000 which is the best one and as you can see here we have the setting which is start isc minimized and auto start monitoring that you want to check and press start Boom. once it's started you just want to minimize it but you guys that's too much for this video i hope this video helped you and if it did please make sure to like and subscribe for music like this one but yeah i'll see you in the next one peace